everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to a new video. Hope you're all okay, whatever you're doing today and looking after yourselves. Personally, I'm avoiding going outside because it is so horrible grey and gloomy out there. I just don't, I just, yeah, just close the curtains, don't look outside. I thought I'd sit down and start a new series of videos with you today. It's something that I've wanted to do for a while. I kind of like doing these types of videos at the beginning of the year because it just allows me to kind of take stock of everything and I thought we'd start doing a series of collection videos. I don't know how far we'll get with these and I need some like advice from you guys like which ones you'd like to see. Um, personally I thought we'd start off with eyeshadow palettes. I'm very fortunate in the sense that I do have a really big makeup, skincare, beauty collection a lot of products have been gifted to me so I get to kind of like review them and share them with you but sometimes I have so many um that I don't know what you guys want to see so uh it's an opportunity for you guys to see what I have and if you see something that you really like or you've wanted to try for a while you guys can let me know and then I can actually you know test it out and let you know what you think what I think of it um so yeah I thought we'd start off with my eyeshadow collection for 2021 um beginning of 2021 anyway uh, I haven't done an eyeshadow collection video since I think it was like 2007 so quite a while ago now collecting all my palette now collecting all my palettes together uh was a little bit scary I didn't realize I had quite as many as I do, uh, but I do. So uh, I'll take you through my collection of palettes. You can let me know what you think. If there's any favourites that you guys have in there, I would love to know. If there's palettes in there that you don't like, I'd love to know as well because not all of them I've tried. Um, so we're going to start off with my Violet Voss palettes. Um, so these are the Violet Voss Pro palette like a boss. Um, oh my gosh, I loved this when it came out. So beautiful. Hardly ever use it now. I also have the Drenched Metal palette, mostly for like the like real beautiful like teal colours that are in here. They're absolutely stunning. Really pretty. I do love Violet Voss um pigments they're very pigmented they're really beautiful um and you can do lots of creative looks with them which i never do um but yeah really beautiful palette that one i have one kat von d palette it's the shade and light contour palette i um used to use this all the time i never use it now because i've actually run out of the shade that I used to use and I feel bad throwing it away because I remember it being so expensive and yeah there are the like darker shades in there I don't know what I would use them for but I just yeah I feel bad throwing them away so I've kept them for now but I'm not really sure if I'll ever dip into this again. Um, I've got a couple of Makeup Revolution palettes. Um, so I've got the Sof Highlighter palette, uh, which I never use anymore. I've got the original Soph palette. I think this is the original. Yeah, this is the original, uh, which I did love. I really loved this when it came out. But again, it's not one that I reach for. Um, I've got the Makeup Revolution dupe actually for the Anastasia Beverly Hills subculture palette. This was very kindly gifted to me from Lightning Lass. If you don't follow her on YouTube, I'll link her channel below. But she sent it to me because she knows that I really love that palette, but I just could never get it to work for me. Um, so she sent me this over to do a like comparison video and I never got round to doing it, which is absolutely terrible of me. Um, but this is just such a gorgeous, gorgeous set of colors. I love those like mustardy colors. They're so, so me. So um, yeah, really, really nice. Um, I also have the um, new neutrals palette. I think this was from Look Fantastic. Look Fantastic sent this over to me in a box. I can't remember which one though. Um, and yeah, this is so beautiful. I've really been loving this. Um, I actually did a full get ready with me using this palette. So stunning. I love these like gorgeous gorgeous glitters they're beautiful really nice that's a lovely palette um, I've got two Pat McGrath palettes so I've got this one and then this one I know they don't look like normal Pat McGrath palettes 
but they were like a special um like reduced cheapy version because you're not getting like the exciting colorful packaging but it, you're still getting the formula but just slightly smaller pans so i really wanted to try pat mcgrath these are beautiful they're so pigmented so lovely um i've kind of not used them um i must admit i don't think i've even done a full eyeshadow look with them just because i think they're really nice and i don't want to like dip my brush in them and like mess them all up but yeah I really do need to use these. Okay so this was definitely a favourite of mine when it launched. This was from Colourpop and it was a collaboration with Zoella. Um, this is the Brunch Date palette. I loved this when it came out. I was so addicted to uh, Champagne Toast which was like this little colour here. Um, yeah really nice really nice little palette that one actually really lovely colors very pretty really nice and easy to use and yeah and really affordable was exclusive to america but um you could order it online and then they included shipping i think for uk customers i don't can't really remember how it worked out but there was like a whole collection and i got it all it was very good urban decay naked heat palette um yeah another one that has literally doesn't even get opened these days i definitely loved this when i bought it the only thing i found with um urban decay eyeshadows is they do make my eyes water so i kind of just stopped using it but there are some really pretty shades in here it was such a lovely palette i did buy the mini one as well which i have somewhere oh now this was an expensive palette i got this for myself for a birthday or christmas maybe one or two years ago it's the norvina abh um collection and honestly this was so beautiful i just had to have it in my life those greens those blues they're just so gorgeous i love the packaging on this those butterflies um yeah it just looked really pretty i have used this maybe once or twice <laughs> so naughty um but it is a very beautiful palette i love that red in there it's absolutely gorgeous the pigmentation is beautiful i do have the primer that goes with this as well because they do recommend using a primer with it so you can get the ultimate um like pigment out of these colors but yeah it is stunning i've just not used it as much as I should have so I really want to dive into this a bit more and have a bit of fun with colour this year. Talking of Anastasia Beverly Hills, uh, I feel like this is a little bit of luxury right here. I love these palettes so much. These are like my go-to ultimate favourites. Um, the Sultry palette, which you can still pick up on Look Fantastic actually, um, is absolutely stunning. As you can see I've um, used and abused that quite a lot. The colours in here are beautiful if you love like a cool tone sort of like Christmassy vibe gorgeous subculture what a nightmare absolutely hated this thing worst palette I ever bought still can't get it to work for me several years on <sighs> modern renaissance um yeah it was pretty um they're not really my colors so I never really like loved loved this palette but golden orca in here was literally like my go-to blending color like literally I just yeah used it all the time absolutely stunning uh the Norvina palette so this is the original palette she brought out with all the purples very pretty but again not one I've reached for massively and then soft glam oh I love this palette it literally has yeah as you can see there's like hardly anything left of it um i've loved this so much that i actually rebought pretty much half the shades that were in here and made my own mini palette from it um so this is like my own mini um anastasia built beverly hills palette and as you can see um i'm coming to the end of those colors as well i haven't used this i must admit for about six seven months now because i've been using something else and that something else was the huda beauty rose gold remastered palette this has been again beautiful i've hit pan on a couple of the shades in here um, as you can see i don't know what i'm going to do when i run out because you can't buy these individually um so yeah they're um they're really gorgeous really lovely pigment i love these 
I do have a Juvia's Place palette. So this is the Masquerade Mini. Again, I seem to pick up a lot of like blues and pink shades and purples but never seem to have the confidence to wear them so yeah that's another gorgeous colourful palette that I really should use. Uh, I've got a couple of Morphe palettes this was just like a classic the 25A palette when it came out if you like coppery colours this was just stunning um really really pretty like these gorgeous like caramel shades um they did re-release this in a new form um but personally I just got the old one and I've kept it and yeah I dip into it every now and again but not as often as I'd like. Again another huge Morphe palette, their palettes are just so big like you can't, it just puts me off using them um, but this is the Dare to Create palette and yeah um, I've used it once, twice, again lots of blues i don't know why i end up buying all these palettes with blues in them but the reds in here are beautiful the greens are gorgeous um yeah just some really lovely colors in here as well really nice um i've got two icon london palettes i actually thought when i got these that they were the same but they're not so one was in the glossy box advent calendar another one was in a limited edition box from next um so this one here the naughty the nice to naughty eyeshadow palette so this one this was the one that was in the next box and i haven't really used this one yet if i'm honest um but there are some really pretty shades in here that i'm very excited to try especially sparkle sparkle looks lovely champagne truffle so extra yeah really nice colors uh, but the one that I have loved and honestly has been like a little bit of a firm favourite for the past week or so, Day to Slay Eyeshadow Palette. This, beautiful, love this, so my shades. Um, the Peach Fizz is like my new favourite like inner pop of colour, like, oh, stunning. Um, but yeah, Champagne Chic's really nice, um, Icon's really nice, I love this palette so much, it's lovely. Um, yeah really nice really nice palette actually so that's cool uh i do have a little bit of jeffree star i've got jawbreaker uh, again another palette that i saw thought looked beautiful and literally never use at <laughs> home um, but how stunning are those colors i love that kind of like beautiful like blue like that is so pretty i'm really drawn to blues but i never use them um but yeah i love the like pastel shades they're really spring and fresh like uh, although i i don't know if those types of colors would ever suit me so i don't know why i have them um but yeah this has got like some nice reds in here again purples golds that kind of thing yeah it's pretty uh, I've got a mini NYX palette, um, this is the NYX Ultimate Edit, I think again this was in like a glossy box maybe, um, ages ago, I actually really like this, this is like a really nice little neutral palette that I really enjoy using, um, and I just get a lot of use out of this, I don't use it often, but if I'm going away somewhere or, you know, I'm looking for like a really quick, like I can't be bothered to do my eyes, it's just me at home, I'm not going to be filming, this is what I reach for, it's like so quick and easy to use, um, yes, yeah, it's, it's a nice palette. Uh, I've then got like 20,000 eyeshadow palettes from Charlotte Tilbury so um, the first one I got was the Icon palette and actually I was a bit underwhelmed by this if I must admit I was really excited to see what it was like I thought it was okay but they're very very sheer so they are really pigmented but they're very sheer pigments so although they look lovely on camera when you put them up close they don't pop and I love like a shimmer that pops and these are all shimmers so other than yeah yeah they're all shimmers but they're just very sheer uh pretty colors but not what I reach for uh we then have exaggerated eyes which is quite cool toned and I do occasionally like a cool tone look so uh that's quite nice uh queen of glow I actually have a giveaway right now um where you can win yourself this palette um because i have another one which i'm giving away um but yeah this is really pretty i do like this palette um it is a go-to again normally on days when i'm not filming or if i'm just working and yeah 
that kind of thing it's just a nice easy usable palette um i then have the copper charge palette which is a little bit more pinky but very pretty um i've got the desert haze palette i've not even opened this yet i've not even taken out the box i mean it's just a couple of matte eyeshadows and they're not particularly exciting colors but for somebody that's looking for like a simple palette this is quite nice um and then i've got the rebel palette this was like i think the first one that i bought on its own um, from a Charlotte Tilbury counter. Um, yeah, and it's just like these like really nice like khaki greens. They're like just really pretty. They just looked so lovely in the store and on the like the um, promos that I saw that I just like had to have them. And I love that kind of like khaki green. But in saying that, um, they almost look a little bit grey and I just feel like I need that like, extra pop, but yeah I do like that palette I just I don't naturally gravitate towards it but I do like it so guys I hope you enjoyed seeing all my eyeshadow palettes now they are my main palettes they're the ones that are sit on my desk that are ready for me to use every day I do have other palettes around and about the place that are kind of just like smaller little palettes that maybe I don't reach for or don't think to use regularly um but I will pay, probably feature them in a random collection video at some point later on in the series. However, let me know what you want to see next. Would you like to see moisturisers, primers, um, lipsticks, mascaras? <laughs> um, whatever you want to see, let me know in the comment box below. But for me, for now, that's everything. Thank you so much for watching. If there's any palettes that you have seen today that you'd like me to use and try out on camera, um, and do like a look with or do something fun and creative with let me know but for now I'll see you all later take care guys have a good afternoon bye